are on the go with Joe, and he's learning how to make a tasty holiday treat. We're talking about tamales, which really are a big Christmas tradition for many people, both in Mexico and here in the U.S. Joe joins us live now from Milwaukee at Casa de Tamales, and they're making thousands of them for the holidays, and oh, I Yum. wish I could smell it from here. Got I bet you probably can, guys, all the way from Milwaukee to Beaverton, because let me tell you something, the, the aroma that I'm getting right now, it, it smells just as good as it looks, and it looks amazing. We're with Charles Mays here at the uh, Cambia Asparagus Forum, Casa de Tamales. Uh, Charles, you know, this is a holiday tradition for so many people. You guys will make thousands of tamales over the next month or so, getting ready for Christmas, that right? That is exactly right, Joe. We'll be having, uh, over making thousands of tamales is right. Right at the present time, we have to have 53 varieties 53 of tamales. different kinds of tamales 53, that you make here. That's exactly right. So now, now the under if you you know if you've never had tamales, basically the idea is is the the, the premise you got masa, which the is ma kind of the, the filling, right? The masa is the most important part yeah. of the tamale. It's not what's inside it. It's the masa. The masa is the key. And then you put some sort of filling. It can be meat. It can be vegetables. It can be it can be it can whatever be you want. It whatever can, you want. Whatever you want. Then you wrap it up. There's a couple ways you wrap. You can wrap it in corn husk. This is kind of the traditional we, Mexican. That, that's the preparation. That's right. What's it? But you have and, one in a banana leaf. And this is the Oaxaca style uh, tamale in the banana leaf. And this one here just so happens to be the pork and the chicken oh. with the bones in it. The pork ribs and the chicken thigh. Man, and it looks amazing. And again, it, so much variety depending on what you put in it. Speaking of which, that's what we're cooking up here. Can I hand that off to you, please? Thank yes. you. So I am with Anthony Andrew, his two uh, faithful assistants here. And right now we're making a filling for a tamale. What, what is this, Charles, that we're this making This is right now? what we're cooking here is Oaxaca style uh, carnitas oh, so that we can make some new uh, fresh carnita tamales so here today. Carnitas is, is like kind of a shredded or like it's, a pulled pork. It's, it's a right? pulled pork is yeah. what it is. Yes. And it's in a copper kettle. And this, and this is like one here is a, this copper kettle came from Oaxaca. It's mm -hmm. a, a traditional Oaxaca copper kettle from uh, to cook carnitas in. Okay, now <laughs> I see we've got some we got some pieces of orange in there, but I'm gonna add some other little spices to the pot here. That's so I get some. Do I put the whole yeah, thing in? Put it all, all right. in. A lot of bay there leaf in there. We'll put that in there. Look at that. Garlic. To quote Emerald, bam! I'll probably get sued. Oh, <laughs> it's hot stuff. Be careful with your garlic when you're dumping it in there. Uh, salt. We'll put the whole thing in there. Like, okay. Sure. All right, let's get that in That's there. Good. Now, a couple, a couple special ingredients. Yes. This right here, is this is your secret spe special spice blend. blend. Special blend of spices. I asked you what was in there, and you said? It's a secret. Okay, there you go. <laughs> he actually threatened me with bodily harm if I divulged what was in the secret spice blend, but we put that in there. And then last but not least, are you ready for this? The creme de la creme, the special ingredient. That is one of the Coca -Cola? special Coca-Cola. Coca -Cola. Mexican, Mexican Coca-Cola, Coca -Cola, Mexican right? Mexican Coca-Cola. Yeah. There you go. For its sugar. There you go. It's There's already a couple gonna, bottles in there already. It's going to caramelize the pork is what it's going to do. And how long do we... So you started cooking this about, I don't know, two we, hours ago, two we, and a half hours we ago? We started this morning about, about 4.30, 4 o'clock. And how long will and this cook for? This will cook take about four hours to cook. And then when it's done, we, we take that out. And we can put that on a tamale, right? You can put that on a tamale, a taco, or a burrito. Okay, any of the above uh, here at Casa de Tamales. And of course, uh, the holiday speciality is the uh, tamales. tamales. Again, more than 50 different varieties. And Charles, uh, people want to get their tamales. It's it's wise to, I guess, call ahead, we ask plan ahead, right? Because some people are going to want dozens and dozens of these that, things. That's exactly right. We ask that you call in advance, if you can, to let us know what tamales you would like for the holiday season. I 53 get... varieties of tamales. Oh. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, Casa de Tamales will have a link to their website at kptv.com so you can get the phone number. Let's get a, can we get a little look at what that meat looks like? Okay, so guys, this isn't, this isn't finished just yet. <laughs> look at that goodness uh, right there. There you go. Hey, so guys, you know, I've been doing this. Uh, I've done several shows with you, Charles. I've never yes. seen this. And we're gonna yes. show you some other variety of tamales that I've, I've never even experienced before, so it's gonna be quite the morning. Uh, oh, oh I we're know. off to a great start. Carnitas, oh Mwah. yeah, the Back best. Back to you in the studio. The Woo. best, mm. yeah, and their tamales. Mm. My mouth is watering now, Joe, thanks so much.